Hello guys, welcome back to Perfect YouTube channel. Today's video is really important because I'm gonna cover cyber security jobs. Are you in a school or pursuing college or you just graduated? Because I'm gonna tell you how to get your first cyber security job. Let's get started. Many of you have been asking me on Instagram and YouTube how to get a cyber security job, which certifications are required, which resources are required, what is the eligibility criteria and where to find these kind of jobs. And I'm gonna answer all of these questions in this video. You can make a lot of connections from conferences like Besides, Nalcon, Cocoon, Python groups, Google developer groups and big cybersecurity firms send their recruiting managers into these conferences because this is the source from where they can find most of the security researchers. These conferences include programs like resume clinics in which you can participate and show your resume to most experienced recruiting agents and they will show you which things are mostly required for your resume to upgrade like certifications, resources or experience. And a lot of speakers come into these conferences and share their real life experience how they get into cybersecurity. You will get a lot of motivation and get to learn a lot of things and real life examples from these speakers. And you can also communicate with them after the conference or while in a break. And you can discuss about all the problems which you are facing to get a job into cybersecurity. The most important thing is you should make connections with researchers and speakers so that they can recommend you for the job which they are already doing. That's the way you can get jobs through conferences. So the next thing I'm going to talk about is resume building. Is your resume really that much capable that it will give you a cybersecurity job? I mean, look at my resume. It's not that much perfect, but if a recruiting agent will see my resume, he will definitely gonna think that I am a really experienced person. Here are all my work experience, my certifications, projects, and all my activities which I have been doing from last five years. So that's how you should include all your projects, experience, activities, certifications, links, etc. so that your resume will look totally full. So the next most important tip I want to give you about resume is make different type of resume for different type of jobs. If you are applying for networking security related job, make sure it shouldn't look like a programmer's resume. And if you are applying for web application security or VAPT job, make sure to include all web application security related content like all website projects, all certifications like CEH, OSCP. And if you haven't watched my free cybersecurity certifications and courses video, you must watch. In that video, you will get a list of all free cybersecurity certifications and courses. And after completing them, you will get a certificate and you can put that certificate into your resume to make your resume more capable of getting a job into cybersecurity. So let's move forward to the next topic and that's certifications. Certifications plays an important role to give you a job into cybersecurity. For example, there are two types of candidates. The one who has only college diploma or degree and the another one who has college diploma degree plus certifications. So definitely the recruiter will see the candidate with certifications. So a good advice I want to give you is get as much as certifications you can get as possible because more certifications you will get, the more job opportunities you will get to go into cybersecurity and the different sectors will be open for you such as network security, web application security, hardware security, etc. So let's move forward to the next topic and that's building your profile. How you can build your profile that much good which will give you a cybersecurity job. And do you guys know nowadays and in future, big companies never gonna look into your education. All they want is to know how much practical experience do you have, or you can express them your practical skills. And that's how the GitHub and LinkedIn comes in handy. You can make your own security tools and make it as open source on GitHub. While making tool or contributing, it will be shown as activity on your GitHub profile. That's how big companies are gonna see your profile that how much active you are into the programming, into security or contributions to other open source communities. 
If you are not that much into coding, you can use APIs of other open source security tools and make your own tool. And on LinkedIn, post all your activities which you are doing into your own tool or contributing to other open source tools. You can add up to all resume, projects and experience on your LinkedIn profile. So let's move forward to the next topic and that's getting jobs from platforms and websites. This is the website which I will definitely recommend you if you are in India and other countries and you want a job as a fresher or you have some little experience, you can find all these list of jobs right now. So the next platform is Hack the Box. You should definitely check Hack the Box jobs section because there are a lot of cybersecurity jobs into that. The more machines you will root, the more experience you can show to these companies and they can recruit you from your practical experience. And if you want to learn about Try Hack Me, CTF challenges, routing machines, you can check this video. So the next platform I'm gonna tell you is SecArmy Discord server. In this server, there are a lot of cybersecurity researchers, professionals, and speakers which will guide you to get your own cybersecurity job. You can contact directly to anyone using Discord chat. And in this SecArmy community, we keep posting about the jobs and how to gain more knowledge to get into cybersecurity. We also have CTF competitions and our own platform at secarmy.org. So I will recommend you to check SecArmy community definitely. So that's all for today guys. If you have any questions or query about getting job into cybersecurity or the problems you are facing, you can comment down below. And every week I'm gonna post a poll on Instagram and the YouTube channel about upcoming YouTube videos. If you like any video which I should make in future, you can comment down below or you can vote that poll. See you in next video.